What's going on everybody? Average Arcader here and it's time to start another Let's Play series. Today we're going to be taking a look at Skyblock Pirate Story. This is Everbloom's first attempt at a actual full-scale Skyblock and uh, what's unique about it is I haven't really played too many Skyblocks that come with an actual story. There may be quests but not an actual story and that's important to me when it comes to Everbloom because Everbloom actually does a lot of voice acting and stuff like that. They don't just leave you there with text-based quests, which I really like. Um, I really appreciate people going, taking the time to do voice acting, and Everbloom has some of the best voice acting on the market. Um, their voice actors are normally pretty good. They pick them pretty well. Some of them are the actual devs there that work there. Sometimes they hire guys but, uh, and girls, uh, but. They normally do a really good job, so I was very interested in it. I'm not a big, huge fan of Skyblocks, but I'm like, if this has a story, let's check it out. So let's get into it. It's not a fairy tale if it's real, Guppy. But I always say that, don't I? The sky's a rich place. Food, jewels, water, adventures as far as the eye can see. With a little cultivation and compassion, wow, I love, people I could love live in harmony together, sharing the sky and the island's resources. They had everything they needed, but not everything they wanted. They'd heard the legend, a legend like the one I'm telling you, Guppy. One telling of a mysterious ruined island, full of riches the likes of which the world had never seen. And where there are riches to be had, there are thieves to steal them. Pirates. But if anyone knew where this ancient island could be found, they didn't betray the secret. The pirates fed their greed and strength by looting every other island in the sky. But nothing's more tempting than forbidden fruit. The power many self-proclaimed secret keepers protect should remain on this mythical island. The world already cannot appreciate what they have. We won't appreciate what we don't have either. Very nice. Now that I've told you that tale for the umpteenth time, will you go chop wood like I asked? I'm getting up there in years, Guppy. Take pity on these old bones. Okay. Yeah, that's another thing about Everbloom that I really, really like. The uh, character design is also always top notch. Okay, so we need to go get some logs. Thank you for downloading. Skyblock Pirates, this is a survival map with a story. This means, unlike an adventure map, you're mostly on your own. Okay, interesting. It's up to you to break blocks, find resources, complete quests, and craft what you need. The story will lead you from island to island as you upgrade your ship. Remember, this is a survival, so it's up to you to survive. You'll need to have some knowledge of Minecraft in order to succeed. You'll need to craft your own crafting table and when in doubt, consult the recipe book in your inventory screen. Good luck. Have fun. Okay. I like that. Okay, so whenever there's a quest, there's nothing strictly we have to do. We just need to just go out and just do it, I guess. I, I like that. Alright. We need logs, so. Do it the old-fashioned way. the idea of it being you go and just do it your own way I think that really helps out a sky block because then you're not endlessly just you know wandering because that's one of the big problems I've had with sky blocks there's really nothing guiding you or pushing you to go to the other uh, you know 
islands that are normally there. Normally a skyblock is made up of several different islands, but you really have no need to go to them. You're just exploring for exploring's sake. For some, that's good enough. For me, it never got my attention long enough. I would get bored. Why did I make another axe? Can someone explain to me why I made another axe? Yo, I got logs. How many do you need? Guess not enough. Let's go. It just says some, right? It doesn't say a certain number. Chop some logs. Yeah. do you need, guy? There we go. Uh, oh, Guppy, it's just you. I thought... Yeah. My friend, the leader of the desert island nearby, sent me this. And I'm jumpy as a lightning rod. Said it was delivered to the wrong address, but that don't make it any easier. Here, I don't mind if you read it. <laughs> I finally found you, Captain Foghorn. I should have known a seasoned pirate like you would have disappeared below the clouds after a duel with his lowly first mate. No, you're the sort of yellow belly to hide for 30 years and live the quiet life acting like you're better than the rest of us in the sky. Well, now that lowly first mate is a captain with a sky ship and crew of his own. Then you're just a tired old man with a secret to keep. I don't care if it takes another 30 years of sailing. I won't let you disappear below the clouds again. Meet me at Avaras Isle, where ships go to die. Tell me the island's location, and maybe you won't have to join them. Captain Jules. If Jules, oh, the leader of the desert island, had harbored me 30 years ago, then it means he doesn't know where I really am. But oh, oh, that still means my old first mate Jules knows of the desert island somehow. He is in danger, should Captain Jules return. Yet if I were to go... Guppy, it's time for you to swim. No, to fly, to sail! When I first was marooned, I drew up this blueprint and planned to save up materials to escape. It'd be a sad little skipper, hardly skyworthy, but it would sail. But just as the last tree sprouted branches, you came into my care, Guppy. And I had a reason to stay. Someone to protect other than my own selfish self. Yarg! I warned you about my old bones, Guppy. You got to finish the job on your own. Build this here skipper and protect the desert island from the pirates without me. <laughs> I must seem stark raven to you. Maybe I am sending my heir into danger. But the desert island leader's the only one who knows you're my family. And that I am... was... A pirate captain. <coughs> Let me show you how to fix up a ship, Guppy. And then you'll heave anchor and sail. Okay, what we got? What we got? So we got... Oh, the blueprint. Alright, take that. Pirate map. Ship engine. Cool. Smooth stone slab and spyglass. Man, I love this map. Oh, man, that's awesome. I guess we have to unlock it as we go. Not bad, not bad. I like that. Looks pretty cool. Spyglass. So what do we need? There it is. 
Okay, we need oak wood, which we already got. We need oak fence. We already have the slabs that he gave it to us. We need wool and a barrel. Okay. Is there a sheep out there? This is sheep. I think we'll, we'll, we'll come back. Let's talk to him. Hey, little guppy. How are things with you and old Foghorn? I know that old hut's tiny, but do you have enough firewood? Foghorn's not as young as he used to be, and he's never been that young. Here's the deal. You help me finish my work for the day chopping wood, and I'll give you the best planks. How's that sound? Ooh, maybe I should have done this earlier. <laughs> Chop 15... Oak logs. Oh, that's not bad. We already got ten. Maybe we can find a sheep. Well, wait. No, there was a sheep just there. Sorry, little buddy. <laughs> I feel like a horrible person. Now, if you guys notice that I am, uh, when they're talking, I'm a lot more quiet. I really enjoy, like I said, I really enjoy Everbloom's voice acting. So, a lot of times you will see me, you know, just chilling out and listening to it, not talking once it's going. I would recommend you do the same if you pick this up as well. It's a, it's, um, their voice acting, like I said, is some of the best on the marketplace. So, definitely sit back and listen. Got 16, that should be enough. We'll head back there. Then I need to make a fence. Say I might sleep. All done? You're quicker than I thought. See, you could probably take over for me as carpenter someday. No? Nope. Eh, you've got your adopted <laughs> father to take care of, I guess. Well, a deal's a deal. Thanks for the help, Guppy. Okay, sweet. So we've got more planks. Let's see if there's anybody else around here that has a mission for us. I don't think so. Let's see any more question marks over anyone's heads. Alright, let's. back to our house and sleep and then I need to make a fence and a barrel if I remember correctly because we've got okay we've got wool we need a fence and a barrel so let's quickly make those No. There we go. Now we have a barrel. All right. Uh, let's, see, let's put you here. Let's sleep. Fish to fry out there, Guppy. But come home safe. Man, I, I love this map. Alright. Can we... Oh, ho, ho, nice. We can actually walk around the ship. Kind of. So we've got cargo so we can store stuff. Cool. Start driving.
Oh, cool. It does track us. Awesome. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Why are we frozen? Ah, oh, wow. Did something happen? Hang on, guys. Whoa. Okay. Okay, we're back. Don't know what happened. Um, I not I think that was actually on my end. Holy cow. How did I get all the way over here? Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, let's head back here. I'm trying to get to the desert island. I'm using the map here. Hang on, can I put this up here? Yeah, I don't know what happened, guys. I think that was... I'm not sure if that was on my end or what. But we're back, so let's just get back to what we were doing. I think I was just having a problem loading it. Might have been on my computer. To it. We're trying to get back to the desert island. I do like how the boat handles. It handles pretty good. I also like that you can actually walk around on the deck. I love it when they do that. Uh, there's only a few maps that actually let you walk around on custom boats. Um, decks when you're... They're kind of made like a physical model, which I, I, I appreciate that. Okay. Is this the desert island? off to clear the spider cave just because some of our guests were worried about being attacked what about my sweetheart being attacked can't any of them go save their precious village leader dang i mean that's the okay rescue the village leader Okay, so where do we go to rescue the village leader, though? This doesn't look good, but I'm going to do it anyway. He's got to be down here. No, he's not down here. <laughs> the more, <laughs> The more you know. Said spider caves, right? Let's go up this way. I mean, I'm seeing lots of zombies, I'm not seeing any spiders. Here we go, finally. I mean, this is a cave, so it's gotta be it. Here we go. Who's there? How you doing, boss? Never mind that. Help me fight! Oh. I should have made another weapon. If you think about it. Spider, I can kill you with that. Oh. 
well fought. Her martial arts style reminds me of my old friend Captain Foghorn, actually. But my bride to be is waiting for me. Let's chat outside. Darling! Oh, sweetheart! We have our new adventuring friend to thank. I don't know how much longer I could have held out against those spiders. I'll say! Look at you! Your poor wedding attire is filthy! That's the price of defending this village. Maybe you're right. I can't show up to my own wedding like this. Let's get you some clothes. I would love to take your measurements, sweetie. Whoa. I'm sorry to ask you another favor. But could you get some materials for me to sew myself a new wedding outfit? I'm going to be a little busy, I think. You very much will be. Whoa. <laughs> okay, collect 15 string from before the village leader. Um, we've got eight. All right, hang on. Before we go further, I need to make more weapons. Because there are mobs everywhere. <laughs> Uh, fighting them off with uh, the cloth is in them. Oh, jeez. Alright. Make another one of these. I said, they're not kidding. You're completely on your own. They're not holding your hand at all. So, until I, I need to actually make a pickaxe, get some stone so I can get some better stuff, too. So, we'll do pickaxe as well. But, uh, one, one sword is not going to be enough. We're going to need a couple until I can get better stuff. Just in case. All right. Because we need 15 things of string, so let's head back up to that cave. Should be some more spiders up there. Or at least we can take the web and turn it into string. Quests, they're not hard. You know what I mean? They're not hard, but they are interesting. Let's see. What is this? Is it stone that them? No, that's granite. I'm just picking up stuff because I'm trying to figure out what's what. I'd love to get some actual cobblestone so I can make some stone stuff. But it doesn't look like they have that here. This is all made out of cobbles, not cobblestone, um, uh, granite and whatnot. Okay, we'll have to just keep going. Maybe let's try searching some of these things, see if there's any loot in any of these houses before we go back to him real quick. I saw some barrels around here somewhere earlier, but I was busy fighting. I was fighting for my life. Anything in it? Oh, wait, look at that. They've got wool. I might need that to make a bed or something. Raw rabbit. any more string. Got plenty of that. Okay, I'm starting to uh, agree with his fiance that no one is fighting off the monsters. We got a bed. We sleep. Morning time. 
Maybe it'll stop the zombies and stuff from, well, no, it won't stop them, but maybe it'll slow it down at the least. Because it doesn't look like the uh, zombies here burn in the, ooh, another quest. All right, let's turn this one in before we pick up another one. And we're pretty much almost out of time, so let's turn this one in. Oh, they're burning now. These guys, though, these are desert zombies. That makes sense. Earlier, those guys weren't. The normal ones weren't burning. There, they're, uh, they're doing it now. Really? Good God, man! Like, how many spiders are here? Here. Oh, you're, you're back. Your ring. Er, very quickly. Uh, almost too quickly, uh, and not to be rude, but are you expecting him to just wear his? String to the wedding. <laughs> not that I'd mind, but nope, no, our guests do not need to see that at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Just Redstone, I got. I've got a bone to pick with you, Redstone. The next anyway, time I talk to you, <laughs> I can sew wool on my own, but I'm a hopeless weaver. Can you turn that string into proper fabric? You'll make me the happiest man in the sky. Okay, find or collect tin white wool. Okay, I've got three. How much string does it take to make wool? Wait, let's go to that other guy. Maybe he might have a, another quest that might give me wool. I think it was a tin. I think it's tin string would make wool. What you got? Excuse huh? me. Excuse me, you don't have any water on you, do you? I've been, I've been in the desert so long. I guess you can't just carry water in your hands. <laughs> It'd be nice if there was some watery container, like a vegetable or fruit nearby. <sighs> I'm too exhausted to go look. Find the cactus. Eight cactus to quench this wanderer's thirst. Hey, uh. I don't want to be rude. Cactus is literally 20 feet from you, guy. <laughs> yeah, we'll probably have to go back up to the cave, too. Okay. I think we only needed eight, right? Is that a cactus? That's genius. Can I have some? Thanks so much, friend. I wish I could thank you with something good. But all I've got is pockets full of sand. See you around. Travel safe. What? Sand? You hey ho. Oh, uh, you never know. Maybe, maybe that sand might come in handy. Uh, either which way, let's keep going. Oh wait, there's another barrel there. Maybe there's something in it. Ooh, more wool. Okay, we're at five now. We're just about out of time, so I'm trying to hurry as much as I can. For sure, that was gonna lead to something. I don't know why. <laughs> Is there a door here to get into there? Let me put something in here. Just a bed. Go down. <laughs> Alright, only thing I can do now is just go to the cave then and uh, clear out the rest of the wool. 
Let me clear out the rest of the uh, string. I just need to make two more blocks. We're at 24, 26, that should be enough. We'll turn this in and then we'll call this episode, because I don't want to play too long. Uh, and then we'll do another episode afterwards. I am enjoying this, this is fun. I don't know what happened earlier. That <laughs> I think there was a glitch on my, I think I got too many programs running in the background. You're missing too well. Da. I would not want to interrupt you guys gnawing each other. All right. Uh. Okay. There we go. What high quality wool? Absolutely. You're making this perfect day even more perfect, friend. Let me just whip up a new suit. And done! How do I look? Absolutely ravishing, darling. <laughs> and don't think I forgot to repay your kindness, friend. I have some extra wool left over that you're free to have as a party favor. And sorry if this is too forward, but... I noticed your ship is kind of lacking in the sail category. We're all pretty experienced sailors here, so how about I share some trade secrets with you? What's this? And he gave me... Oh, okay. That's... So we need to make a bow. Looks like another fence. We need more wool. We have... Wait, I think we have enough. Then I will make a new sail that we can put onto our bow. Oh, they gave... He gave us wool. That's right. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, I guess once we get done next episode, we will put a good sail on our boat and then move on to the next island. I do really like this. It... I like how they have this setup. This is a better take, I feel, on a skyblock than normal because it gives you a reason to actually go out and explore the different islands. I think that would be fun. Uh, so, guys, tell me what you think so far. I'll, or otherwise, just stay tuned. We will definitely be doing more of this. Uh, I'd like again to thank uh, my friends over at uh, Everbloom Games for sending me this. I truly appreciate this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to go check them out. I'll make sure to leave a link to their game list down in the description below. All right, guys. Until next time, make sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification button if you like the channel and you want it to grow. And I will see you guys next time. Average Arcader, out.